Hello friends, Nick here at Studio. And today we're going to check out how to use Softube's Console 1 inside PreSonus Studio 1. So let's dive right in and let's check out my workflow. So I have set up a template that I can just load in, start from there. And one of the things that I don't like about console one is I don't like just kind of putting it on every track and going from there. I find that really kind of tedious and unintuitive. So what I've done is I've created kind of gen a generic template that fits my needs for most songs. So you can see here, I have a bunch of folders and all these folders go to corresponding buses. So I have all these buses set up. So all these folders go to buses. And the reason I have buses going to folders is so that I can drag and drop stuff here in the timeline and it'll auto route stuff. So when I drag my audio files in, I can just drag them into the corresponding bus and all the routing will be done for me, which is another bonus of doing it this way. So then once I have all these buses set up, I basically just add an instance of console one to everything. So if you look over here, here at the inspector when I'll scroll through all the all the buses here you can see that they all have console one including the effects they just have console one after the effect that's just a handy way to get things going one that I can do is I can drag and drop some audio files in all right so you can see I have a bunch of audio files dragged in now so then what we can start doing and now is dragging and dropping all the audio files into the corresponding buses and these will all get automatically routed out which is fantastic we have all the audio files in our folders and the reason I have these extra buses here is that just in case I have stuff that doesn't fit in one of these buses that I've created I have extra ones that I can just easily drag and drop into my two bus here and I can just do whatever with it that's handy or I can even go here and arrange these even more into some more buses we're not gonna worry about that now so from here the approach that I like to take is kind of think that I'm using a hybrid setup so the buses here are going to be my console channels that I have and typically in a real console you're going to be limited to how many channels you will have which kind of makes you work in a certain way so that's kind of the approach that I'm trying to take here. The way I like to think about it now is that I'm working in a hybrid setup. So my buses here all that have corresponding folders are basically my channels on the console and I can access those quickly by selecting the folder and then I can go to my console one EQ compress do whatever I like so that's kind of how I think about it if I want to do more fine-tuning stuff like actually get to the snare up I'll just probably use actual plugins from PreSonus Studio One or other plugins that I like to use you know actually have those on the track and then when it comes to actually sweetening things up and getting more musical adding character I'll go to bus and do more broad strokes with the console one there uh, more surgical stuff I'll use more you know more in the box stuff then when it comes to more musical stuff i'll use the console one so this is kind of the setup that i like to use i'll go ahead and copy it you can make this kind of template yourself it does not take a long at all and i definitely urge you to try it out if you see i only just kind of i keep things very generic i just put console one on everything i don't have any other plugins going because and i don't really know where how i'm going to do things it all really depends on uh, each song so i like to keep the template pretty bare and i can kind of tailor my plugins to the actual song that i'm working on and not kind of be stuck to a specific sound but i find having this starting point really makes it easy to use the console one and allows you to be a lot more creative and not having to insert console one all the time i hope you found this video useful please like please subscribe all that stuff i would greatly appreciate it so that's it